Hey guys, Simon here. Welcome back to another video. This is actually the first video I've sat down to film in 2019. Just got back from holidays. I had an awesome Christmas break. Took about three and a half weeks off. Awesome time hanging out with family and friends, going camping. Oh, it was really, really good to have some time off. But it's time to get back into the swing of things. So today we're going to take a look at a PlayStation gift box by Culturefly. Let's get started. Now when it comes to loot boxes and that type of thing, I normally steer clear of them. The majority of the time, uh, the items that come packaged inside loot boxes, they just seem really, really hit or miss. That combined with the monthly fees, and it just kind of turns me off. I have watched a few unboxing videos on YouTube. Sometimes you get some good items, sometimes you don't. So, yeah, I'm just not really too fussed on them at all. But this particular gift box was made, as I've already mentioned, by Culturefly. Now, it's also been officially licensed by PlayStation. What they do, so you do have some idea of what you're getting, on the front here you have a sticker. There are 10 items that's going to come packaged inside here, two of which are mystery items. So first up, before we open it up, we're just going to take a quick look at the box and how it's been packaged. And I just want to say, I do like the presentation of this gift box compared to like other loot boxes and stuff like that. The other loot boxes, some of them seem really, really plain and un uninviting, but what Culturefly have done with this particular gift box set They've made it look like a PlayStation 4 Pro, so you probably can't see because I still have the plastic uh, shrink wrap on it, but I'll put some still shots up so you guys can have a look. Um, they've modelled after the PS4 Pro, so you've got the three tiers of the PS4 Pro on the front here. You've got your power and eject buttons and your two USB ports there as well. On the sides, it's the same on both sides, you've got your PlayStation logo, your triangle, circle, X and square. Then on the rear, You've got your power cable port, HDMI out, auxiliary, digital optical out, another USB and a LAN. And then on the bottom, you've got your PlayStation logo once again with the triangle, circle, X and square. So I do like the effort that Culturefly have gone to for this gift box set. It's, if you're a PlayStation fan, it's you see it on the shelf at eBay Games, it's going to look attractive and you're going to want to pick it up. So I do like that. Okay, let's take this plastic off and take a look at the contents inside. Unbox it, guys. Peel all this off and chuck it out of the way. So, how do we open it? Looks like it opens just from the front. Okay, easy enough. Got the PlayStation logo just on the base of the lid there. That looks pretty cool. Built by Culturefly, we appreciate your feedback. 50% off your first order from culturefly.com. So that's pretty cool. I'll check that website out later and see if they've got anything useful on it. You're gonna get 50% off with your first purchase. So what's on the top? Looks like we have a PlayStation hat. A hat I can definitely use. Go out in the sun with no hair, you get burnt pretty bad. So I'll click that up see how it fits. The material seems to be all right. There we go. That fits perfectly. Yeah, don't mind that. I think the hat's something I'm going to use. So I'll put some still shots up of everything so you guys can see, but I'll put that out of the way just for now. Next up we have a little, has to be a little, just a tin canister here, but it's got something inside it. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay, we've got some coasters by the looks of it. Yep, they're all made out of rubber. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got the triangle, circle, and we've got the square and the X there. Probably won't really use these, but these would look good uh, for backdrops of Instagram photos. So that's pretty cool. I do like the little tin they come in as well, so you can store them when you're not using them. We can use the tin for something else, got the PlayStation logo on the top. Yeah, that's right. Then what is this? This looks like a blanket. Oh, it is. It's a big PlayStation blanket. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. I don't think my wife would really let me put that on our main bed, but no, that's all right. I can use that on the lounge when I'm having a nap. Why not? Or I can put it on my son's bed. That's actually pretty cool. And it's also got the original 
PlayStation controllers etched into it as well. It's the SCPH 1080 controller. That's all right. I like that. That's cool. All right. What do we have next? So, PlayStation collector's mug. Oh, it's got foam. Right, this is going to make a mess. So, there we go. Okay, that's a pretty cool looking little mug there. Alright. So, ceramic coffee mug, PlayStation logo on it there. We'll definitely use that. I drink coffee quite regularly, actually. I've got a couple of PlayStation mugs now, so I think I need to start using one, but I like that one there. We've got the PlayStation logo colours going up the top of it, the PlayStation logo on the base of it. That's pretty cool. Right, so I'll just pop that back in there. I don't want to get this styrofoam everywhere. So, this looks to be one of the mystery items. So, vinyl controller art, it's called. So, I'm gonna have to open it up so we can have a better look. But it looks like it's a controller, an SCPH 1080 controller sitting on a stand. Kind of a good little display piece to put somewhere. spray paint on it actually it does look pretty cool there it is there just a good little piece to put on display somewhere maybe here in front of the TV a little bit of overspray just there on the handle and one thing it's missing it's missing it needs to have the Sony logo on it it would look so much better with that on so I don't know I think that piece probably could have been made a little bit better but it's still all right that'd be a good thing for backdrops of Instagram photos once again Put that back in its box and move it out of the way. Got a few more items here. So, what is this? It looks like a, it's a PlayStation scarf. Oh, there's a look, and you've got little handles here to put your hands in too. I live in central Queensland here in Australia, so it's pretty much hot all year round, even winter time, so probably won't be using that. But that looks all right, got the triangle, circle, X and square logos on it. PlayStation logo at each end, so you can kind of just wrap it around your neck, I guess. We'll give it a test run, why not? There you go. <laughs> all right. Can't say I'm gonna be using that one, really. And what else do we have? So this looks to be, ah, okay, that looks like it's a messenger bag. If that was a little bit bigger, I could fit my laptop in it, but I guess if I go away on holidays, I can maybe put some bits and pieces in there, go out game hunting, use that to source, store some stuff in it, go to conventions, buy things, put it inside of it, that's pretty cool. But I wish it was just a little bit bigger so I could put my laptop inside. What else do we have? This looks like a PlayStation bath mat. Yes, this is a PlayStation bath mat. That's pretty cool. There we go. Just the SCPH 1080 controller. I probably won't use that like in the bathroom. Again, my wife won't let me, but I will probably put this somewhere inside the game room, maybe just in front of the TV or just in front of the door. That would look pretty cool kind of walking in the PlayStation room. I like that, that's alright. And then what else? So, this here looks like a lanyard. Yes, it is, it's a lanyard. Okay, there we go. So, PlayStation logo on it there. I don't know if the camera can see it. PlayStation logos. When I go to events, EB Games Expo, I'd love to go to PAX 2019 this year. You can probably use this, put your ticket in it, walk it around. And then one last item. This is a PlayStation pin. So it looks like, we'll just get it out. It looks like the actual lid flips up. Yes, it does. So the lid flips up, there's nothing inside there. I suppose it's a cool little added extra. 
I won't really use a pin. I've never worn pins in my life real, really, so. But anyway, that is pretty cool. And then on the bottom of the box, you've got the triangle, circle, X and square logo. So yeah, all in all, that's pretty much it. Okay, so my overall verdict for the PlayStation gift box from Culturefly. I'm 50-50 on it. Um, there are some items that I'm gonna use and there's some items that I'm not. And then some of the quality for a few of the items was pretty subpar, while some of the other items are actually pretty good. Like I'm gonna use the messenger bag, I'll use the hat, I'll use the coasters for some Instagram photos, uh, the blanket I can give to my son, I'll use the mug, uh, pin, not gonna use, scarf, definitely not gonna use, and one of the mystery items, which was the PlayStation controller on the stand, the quality of that wasn't really good. Like a bit of overspray, it's missing the Sony logo. So yeah, I'm 50-50 I'm on this gift box. I think this probably could have benefit from maybe having a t-shirt inside, a PlayStation watch, maybe some socks, a gift voucher to PSN maybe. I think that would have made this a lot more attractive. But if you are interested in picking this up, my personal opinion, I would wait until it's at least half price. Um, I don't think it's worth what I paid for this just for the contents and that's inside. But anyway guys, I'll leave the video here for today. As we always do, let me know in the comment section below what have you guys picked up recently and what have you been playing myself. I just finished Red Dead 2, amazing ending. I don't know if I selected the right option at the end of the game. I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but I think it definitely deserves another playthrough. Amazing game. And now I've moved on to Dragon Ball Z, or no, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, sorry. Awesome fighting game. It reminds me a lot of the DBZ Budokai games back on the PlayStation 2. So, anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Remember, Keep that positivity flowing, and I'll see you next time with more PlayStation content.